Right, what else have I got around here, I wonder? Mm. Uh, okay, basically, once you've cleared out as many of them as you can get from your little vantage point down there, head back upstairs, like so. Uh, there'll be some spare ammo for your disruptor rifle behind the secondary bar up here. Very carefully edge your way out and use force speed uh, to take the enemies that will come running as soon as you get onto this walkway by surprise. You see what I mean? Off goes your arm, Sonny. I'd recommend darting back in real quick because every now and again the game will randomly spawn a sniper on one of the ledges above you. And unless you're using force speed, sometimes even if you are, that sniper will get off a perfect crack shot and kill you instantly. So yeah, force speed again. Get yourself over the rampway here. I recommend hiding in the alcoves. Seems a bit strange and cowardly, you know. Full grown man, Jedi Knight, hiding in the alcoves. About to leap out, brandishing his deadly weapon, going, Surprise! But, uh, what can I say? It is the best way to take out the scum of the galaxy around here. Uh, yeah, there we go. So every now and again, again, the game will, uh, I just repeated the word again, didn't I? Right, the point being that the game will occasionally glitch out and refuse to bring the enemies within range of you. At which point you are screwed. Uh, and I'd recommend reloading from a save until you manage to kill them. You can take advantage of the third person camera to, to try and track any snipers that might be nearby. If you're using realistic combat mods, you can kill them just by running up to them so that takes away that few seconds of uh, vulnerability while you're busy swinging the lightsaber. It wasn't necessary to push his body off the walkway, but, you know, he had it coming. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, anyway. Once you're certain that you're reasonably safe, I'd say four speed again. Alcove to alcove, alcove to door, you get the general idea. <clears throat> So my throat's dry. Now up here, there's going to be around about three to four people. Um, their character animations should be static at the moment. So I'd recommend breaking out your thermal detonators and tossing a few up there. Uh, once you've done that, um, not really much to do once you have done that, I gotta say. Get yourself in the right position, chuck a few up there like so couple of different angles just to be on the safe side. Um, I say once you have done it, um, that takes care of them. However, there will be at least two of them that aren't there at the moment. The game, uh, well to be quite frank, because I think of it as cheating, to be honest with you, that's why it is. The game doesn't actually spawn them until you bring the lift down, which means it's impossible to kill them from a safe vantage point. They will always be, well, pretty much invulnerable until activated, so, yeah. <clears throat> Just one of the many other annoyances of this particular level. See, here they are. I'd say be very, very careful. Because when you've got realistic mods turned on, occasionally the game will glitch and allow you to be killed while you're in the process of decapitating one of them. Which makes absolutely no sense, but... Uh, as I say, this is a very, very, very broken level. Thankfully, things return to normal and, you know, everything's decent quality again once you get past this, but, uh... Until then, prepare to be incredibly frustrated. I do mean incredibly. Let's see if I can take care of these arseholes up the top here. Without spending all day doing so would be nice. We are Sir Kyle of Catan. We are here to kick your ass. I'm running out of commentary already here. Because I know how much of a pain in the ass this is going to be. Wish me luck. Alright. That's it. Pissed of us. Console commands time. Give me armor. Oh, fuck's sake. <sighs> okay, try this again. Give me armor. 
Thank you, shield back. Give me health. There we go. I'm sorry, but I've just spent almost a pissing hour trying to do this. Save, reload, save, reload. So it's quite frank. Bollocks to it. I don't care how cheap it is, I'm taking them out. You can piss off as well with that whole thermal detonator bullshit. Guess I discovered a fun new glitch for this level. Occasionally when you kill a Gran that throws thermal detonators, a thermal detonator will randomly just spawn beneath Kyle's feet, fully active. Just to really tick you off. Let's save again. Uh, I would say that pretty much the entirety of the game can be completed without using a single cheat. Uh, I've done it myself in the past. Admittedly, that was more because I didn't know any of the cheats than any moralistic reason. But um, I would say that the, apart from this level, the entirety of the game could be completed with relative ease as long as you're careful without cheats. This level by itself, however, is just so ridiculous and so poorly designed that I wouldn't bo recommend even bothering trying. Seriously. Um, case in point, I've got a sniper firing at me from somewhere, I've got no idea where the hell he is. Can't even see him and yet he's... Now he's just firing and hitting me. That's just great. Where are you little co- oh there you are. Bye bye. The force says knock that the shit off. There's another one. Naturally, there's gotta be at least 3,000, doesn't there? Yeah. He can hit me with pinpoint, you know, pinpoint accuracy from across the map, managing to fire at exactly the right moment to knock my aim off shot. Nice gurgling fall to his death. Deserve far worse, but oh well. You can try and take this guy out like I'm doing, but quite frankly, it's a lot easier just to get up close and personal with him later on. Now you'll have thermal detonator throwing guys in there, so I wouldn't recommend bothering. I say go straight up the ramp. Um, if you're using realistic combat, just run into them. If you're not, obviously, you know, do your best to time your swing so as to take them out. And, uh, yeah. See, can I take out the thermal detonator, dude? No, I can't, because there's yet another pissing sniper. Yes, there's another one down here as well. Just in case, you know, the game hadn't pissed you off enough yet. I'm using four speed. I'm moving faster than any kind of human or otherwise I can follow. And yet, somehow, the second that door's open, that sniper is able to... Well... Not almost, he actually hit me, didn't he? It's ridiculous. Seriously, what's the point if... What's the point in me following the rules if the game itself is going to cheat? There really isn't, is there? Like this, he shouldn't even be able to see me, let alone hit me. Yet somehow he managed to get a pinpoint... Again, moving faster than the pissing eye can follow. Ugh. Rage. <clears throat> My throat is killing me now. I say you guys didn't. Well, assuming I edit this the way I'm planning to, you guys won't have heard the rage fest of the past hour or so. So yeah, you won't really understand why my throat's as hoarse as it is. But yeah, you know, as I say, cheating game. So I don't care. If you're gonna have snipers that can hit me from six hundred thousand miles away without even looking with pinpoint accuracy, then screw you. I'm taking my health and my shield back. Alright. <clears throat> ah, try and calm down a little and then we'll figure out what we're going to do next. So if you're trying to do this legitimately, you're a fool, but if you must, back when you're up on the walkway, just like a walkway but said without a stammer, when you were back on the walkway, I'd say hide behind the doors, side steps drive, take out as many snipers as you can see, and rinse and repeat, really. 
Uh, there's one down here. There's one on the second level of those of the stairwell we saw earlier. And there's another one. Um, somewhere. He appears pretty much randomly each time you play this, which is, you know, an added annoyance. But again, like all the rest of the snipers, despite not being able to see you half the time, he will still hit you with complete <clears throat> pinpoint fucking accuracy. Just like this. See? Can't see him. He shouldn't be able to see me. And yet I'm getting hit as if I'm standing in the middle of an open with a target painted on my forehead. Uh. So yeah, I'm just going to take my health and why not back again. Like, say seriously. I wouldn't say do this on any other level apart from this, but yeah, on this level just feel free to take as much health and why not back as you fancy. Because this is quite frankly retarded. Hmm. Another sniper that needs killing. Chop him into tiny, tiny little rhodium pieces. Alright, see, there's one over there, as you can see. I'm not sure why the door is making that sound. But it really shouldn't be. Anyway, yeah. Uh, get over there, snipe the little fucker as fast as you can. Um, keep an eye out for the, you know, the irritating thermal detonator throwing guy. Uh, I'd recommend taking him out again if you haven't already. Console commands, it's tons and tons of fun. So yeah. Uh, to quite frank, just do whatever you feel like. I certainly wouldn't object and neither should anyone else. Now, a rather bizarre thing that happens with this game, if you land on top of an enemy's head, or decapitated, anyway no, but if you land on top of an enemy's head you'll do a weird sort of flipping animation and they will land well, squarely on their back. Which is a bizarre touch of realism in a game that's rather unrealistic in several other respects. I'm trying to locate this idiot who's firing at me from the upper stratosphere, apparently. Yeah, there he is. Got people in orbit. Somehow managing to pinpoint shoot me. Seriously. Takes me three or four hits to kill them. And they can burn out all of my health and stuff in the Oh, for pissing hell's sake. <sighs> Another irritation of this game with the force jump. If you so much as stub Kyle's toe in the process of jumping, like I said before, you'll be flung off in all sorts of strange and unnatural directions as a result. Which is very irritating when the game insists on throwing jumping puzzles and such at you. I mean, not only must you get the angle and the height and all the rest of it absolutely perfect, you must make sure you don't even vaguely clip the slight of its obstacles, or your entire jump will be buggered up. And again, why make it necessary to jump across there? I'm going to lose health for doing so. If I got there with less than 20 health, I was guaranteed to die on that jump. That's just ridiculous. I mean, as you do all that, that takes care of the walkway over here. Get your lightsaber back out. Chop this guy to pieces. Very, very simple force puzzle, but one that can cause some trouble. If you don't happen to notice, the lift doesn't come down until that block is on that switch. Alright, it's another one down. Uh, as you go through here, you'll find a series of switches you need to push. The first one being this one. I've <coughs> got no idea what exactly it actually does, but... I do know that if you don't push all of them, the game will throw a small fit and refuse to load necessary components to finish the level. So yeah, just push the switches whenever you find them. Uh, oh, fucking more snipe. Mm. Next, now the game increases its cheating tenfold. You'll now find yourself getting caught in crossfires from snipers on opposite sides of the map. So yeah, you'll be losing, you know, a minimum of 50 hit points a time 
from enemies you can't see and could not possibly see without getting hit at least twice. So this level is pretty much... It's not unwinnable per se, but it really is very difficult to win legitimately. This is even on simple difficulties as well. I'll tell you this for example, there's now a third guy somewhere over here who's in the middle of the pitch blackness. So I can't see him, but he can see me perfectly and hit me perfectly. And so just for that cheating piece of nonsense, I'm taking my health and my armor back yet again. It's an eye for an eye. Seriously. Probably that's not the Jedi way, but really, who gives a shit? Like I've always said, more of a Sith than a Jedi myself anyway. Hack you to pieces, you pissing camping sniper bastard. Anyway, um... Where was I? Anyway, speaking of, those of you living in the UK and like myself may know, it's National Census time yet again. I mean, I'm slightly curious as to how many of you will be voting Jedi. Or how many of you were putting down Sif even on your national census? I mean, I'm torn at the moment. I mean, I'm not actually religious. But uh, I'm vaguely amused by the concept of the government having to uh, fork out expenditure to pro you know, provide for local Jedi. It's got this amusing concept of government sponsored cinemas showing the original and only trilogy over and over again every Sunday it just seems hilarious to me I do like the idea of state sponsored uh, lightsaber building as well that could be hilarious and fun in equal measure yeah so remember when you get your census please tick the Jedi box